All right, my friends, another day, another Revit tip. And this is going to be a fantastic Revit tip for you guys. Today's Revit tip comes from a request from one of you guys. All right. There was a young lady that asked in one of the comments in uh, one of my videos that asked, well, she said she was taking a test and she must have been taking a test for a class, a Revit class. And in the test, they asked her to isolate the exterior doors and the exterior windows and, and to put them inside of separate work sets. Okay. And that is not something that Revit can do straight out of the box. Okay. So you have to know how to separate out separate objects from a category because there are exterior doors and interior doors. I mean, in your project, you're, you're going to put interior doors to get into the rooms, but exterior doors also on the building. And this sounded like a fairly easy thing to do, but when she went to um, collect all of the exterior windows, well, how do you isolate just the exterior ones? How do you isolate just the exterior walls or the exterior doors and put them in a work set. And so I gave her a solution in the comments and I also mentioned, hey, maybe I'll make a video. And so after I said, I'll make a video, I was thinking, why would anybody actually need to do this in the real world that's not taking an exam? And I thought, wait a minute. Okay, now here's a perfect example for you guys. Let's just suppose that you work on a project. You're working on a project and you build the building. And it's a huge building with lots of stories, lots of floors, lots of walls, doors and windows, interior and exterior. And you get far enough along and then you decide to take on a, another architecture firm that re, they're going to work on say the core and the shell of the building and you are gonna focus on the interior construction. And so you have to separate the building into these two work sets, exterior envelope, you know, the, um, the core and the shell and separate that from the interior architecture. And so that seemed like a reasonable request and I'm making the video right now to show you guys how to isolate those components and put them in work sets. Okay, so here we go. Let me share my screen with you guys. And hopefully we can figure this out together. And enough of my singing. Okay, let's just take a look. Here's our, our little 3D building. Okay. This little building, I could do it on this little building, but what I did was I created a larger plan, a much larger plan off to the side to ISIL to, so that we could work on this, okay? And so here's the here's the larger plan. I'm gonna show, show it to you. What I've got is a whole bunch of exterior walls and interior walls. I've got exterior doors and interior doors, and I've got some exterior windows and some interior windows as well. So how can we get these isolated, separate from each other, so that we could grab all the core and shell only and put them on a work set. Hmm, how would you do that? Well, let's go to, um, I made a little 3D, um, I isolate, well, I just turned off the other part of the building so that we could focus, okay? So let's just focus right here. This is just an example. This could be a gigantic tall building, but I made it big enough so that we could see what's going on, okay? So that you, you know, big enough for this example. All right, so. What we wanna do is be able to isolate a subset of a category because we've got exterior walls and interior walls. And so let me show you how I would do it. And there may be other ways, but this is the best way that I have found to isolate the core and shell from all the interior stuff, okay? What we wanna do is be able to grab all of them separately. And you can't just click on a wall and say, I would like using the isolate button, temporary isolate, 
say, maybe I want to isolate this category. Bam. Well, that started going in the right direction, but it isolated all walls. Mm, so it didn't really isolate the interior from the exterior. So what would I do? I'm going to put that back to normal. What would I do if I wanted to capture a subset of a category? And the thing that came to my mind is a filter. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create some filters here to isolate this. And this is probably the best way to get a group that you could put into a work set. So here we go. I want to isolate the interior walls. And then I want to isolate the interior doors. And then I want to isolate all the interior windows. OK, so let me just go about that. Let's say I'm going to hit VG on my keyboard. OK, I'm gonna put my face over on the other side. Now let's look at this. I'm going to go to filters. OK, and I need to create a new filter that grabs all of the interior walls. OK, so here we go. I'm going to go new filter and my new filter is I'm going to say new. I'm going to say interior. I'll make it all caps interior uh, walls. OK, so I have named my group interior walls. And what I want to do is pick a category. And I'm just going to scroll down to walls and now the filters, the actual filters here are how you isolate a subset of a larger category. And so I would like this rule to grab all the walls that have, let's, and I, I like to use the um, family name or the type name. So let's just go down to the type name of walls. And I want it to contain the word interior, okay? And the you don't have to worry about upper or lower case here. In fact, look at this. I'll make this E a lower and the O a lower. So it doesn't matter. Upper, lower case doesn't matter. As long as you spell it correctly, okay? So I am grabbing walls that have, that contain the word interior in them, okay? So now that I've created a rule or I've created a filter, I need to use it. So I hit add and I would like to add interior walls to this view, okay? This 3D view. And the interior walls are gonna be visible, but I wanna do something that isolate some. So look at this. I'm going to say I would like the pattern the to be solid in the color. Let's just say red for now. OK, anything that has the word interior in it to turn red. OK, bam. OK, so there we go. The filter has grabbed all of the interior walls because and this is why I'm going to advocate to you guys that you should name your things correctly as you go. Because look at this, my exterior wall, I'm gonna try to pick just exterior. It has in its type name, the word exterior. But all of these on the inside of the building have a type name of that has interior in it, okay? So you can't just use generic whatever walls and make this work. They have to actually be named correctly, okay? So I'm just gonna say that again. They, you have to start using proper naming when you're building your building as you're going, okay? As you're, as you're building this thing. So now that I've grabbed all the interior walls, I remember saying a second ago that I want core and shell, okay? Isolated but it has grabbed all interior walls, even the ones that are around my elevator here and around my stair enclosure. So I need another rule that will isolate this further. And so what I can do, I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna tell the walls right around my elevator to, uh, to be a little bit different. And I'm gonna come over here and I could change the name of those also to say, um, change them so they don't have the word interior in them. But here's just an extra little thing for you guys. I'm gonna add in the comments for these particular walls, 
that they are core walls, okay? So I'm just gonna write C-O-R-E in the comments for that particular wall, okay? I'm gonna do it for the other walls that I want to have a little, to, to isolate. So look at this. And so I'm gonna click on that wall also and make its comment core. And same with this one here. I'm gonna make its comment core and this one. So those are the four walls around my elevator. And then I'm gonna come over here to my stair. I'm gonna say that one also has a comment of core and this one has a comment of core, okay? So you should be able to get those fairly quickly. All I had to do is zoom in on them. I can do it in plan or I can do it in 3D view, whatever. Now to go update my rule, okay? So I'm going to go back to VG on the keyboard and bring up filters again. I'm going to go to this interior one and edit it, okay? So I just make sure that I'm selecting interior walls. I'm going to edit my rules. I'm going to add another rule. I want to not pick those ones. So any walls that have a comment, I don't want to grab them. So um, does not contain core, C-O-R-E, core, okay? So I'm gonna say, okay. So if I say, okay, now take a look, it has subtracted out the walls, the interior walls that are being used for core. So what I've got now is all the interior walls that are not core or not core to be part of this set. Okay, so let's go and make yet another filter. So we're, what we're trying to do is isolate exterior from interior, okay? So we need, let's go with doors next, okay? So if I go VG and I make another filter, I'm gonna go create another filter and let's make a new filter. And this is gonna be interior doors, okay? And now I'm gonna define that. The category I'm looking for is doors. So I scroll down here to doors and there. But now I need to set some rules up. Now the rules for the door, okay? The doors, now if I say type name, look at this, type name of the doors contain the word interior, okay? And I'm gonna say, okay, so I've created a, I'm gonna, I've created a filter, I'm gonna add it, I'm gonna add interior doors, and I want those to turn a solid color of, let's just say green. When I say, okay, it didn't do it. I'm like, what? Well, here's why. If I click on one of the doors, the type name is the top line over here in properties, okay? I mean, that's the family name is the top line. And the type is three foot by seven foot. So I've isolated the wrong um, parameter. I need to find the ones that are using the family name has the word interior in it. And I was like, oh, wow, okay. So you have to be careful when you're isolating things to know what you're grabbing. Is it the family name or the type name? So let's go back to VG, okay? And our filters, we're gonna go edit the interior doors. So here I go to edit and make sure I'm on the right one. The interior doors, category is doors. Make sure it's checked, yep. And look, the type name <clears throat> is not what I'm talking about. It is the family name. So I'll scroll up to family name that contains interior. Okay, and I want those now to be green. Bam, okay. So you have to be very careful about whether it's a family name or a type name. So you can do it either way to isolate those. So now that I've isolated those, let's isolate the interior windows. And so I look before I go, I click on some of these exterior ones, and I look and I say, okay, all of these, the family name just says double hung and the type name just says first floor. Hmm. And it would have been in my best interest to put a, um, 
put something in those that tells them their exterior windows. So what I'm gonna do is just go edit type. Look at this. And I'm gonna rename, I'm gonna change the type name to just simply say exterior. Look at this, exterior. So what I've done is I've updated my exterior windows to have the word exterior in them, okay? That being done, now the interior ones don't have that. So if I made a filter, wait, wait for it, work with me here. If I go to VG, I go back to filters and I make a new filter and I want it to be, watch this, the interior, interior windows, okay? Now I have to pick a category and I'm gonna pick windows. And now a subset of that category, wait for it, any windows in the type name, because that's what we changed, the type name does not contain exterior. So you can go the other way on this and doesn't contain an exterior or does contain interior, whichever one you've set up. So if a window does not contain exterior in its type name, I should be able to isolate it. So here we go. I'm gonna add that rule now to my view and it's going to be, wait a minute, interior windows, there it is, okay. And my interior windows, I'm gonna change their surface pattern to be a blue, okay? If they don't have exterior in the name. I'm gonna say, okay, bam. You guys see how those changed? So now what we've done is we have created filters that are grabbing all my interior stuff, okay? So watch this, here's what I would do. If I want to grab all the, the items now that are on my screen that don't have, that are not colorized, what can I do? I can go to my filters, I'll go to VG, and I'll go to my filters, and look at this, visibility. I wanna turn off all those interior walls and turn off the visibility button of the interior windows, walls, and doors. So when I say, okay, plink, they turn off. So now, because I've isolated them with filters, I can turn them all off, and now I can grab all the objects that are still visible on screen and put them into a work set, all right? I know this is probably just a very simple example for you guys, but this is how I go about isolating the interior objects from the core and shell objects so that I can put them in separate work sets, all right? So <clears throat> I'm telling you, there's more than one way to skin a cat. And that, my friends, is how I separate it out so that two separate firms, two separate companies can work on different objects, the interior or the exterior <clears throat> work sets. All right, I hope that helps somebody out there to, um, to be able to accomplish this. And for you, DQ, maybe that stands for Dairy Queen, I'm not sure, but I hope that um, answers your specific question that you asked in the comments. All right, you guys have a fantastic day. Until we meet again, happy riveting. All right, bye-bye.